Hello everyone. I'm just going to show you how you can install a graphing calculator emulator on your computer. It's the same one that I use uh, in school and the same one that I've been using in the videos I create. This is only uh, going to be helpful if you have a PC computer. If you have a Mac, I'm sure you can look online and find a way to do it. What you're going to want to do is go to your shared folder and I've put this in each of the shared folders for all of my classes. And inside of the shared folder, you'll find a folder that's called Wabbit Emu. And that is the folder that contains all of the files that you're going to need. You'll want to uh, download that to your computer. Now, I'm using a different way to get it. So what you would want to do is go into your shared folder through Google Chrome and download all of those files. Put them on your desktop. This is what I would recommend. I wouldn't recommend burying them inside of your file structure on your computer. And if you open this folder after you've downloaded it, there are a number of different files in there. You have the main file, which is the installation file called Wabbit Emu. And then you have uh, the desktop icon is just a configuration setting. You don't need to worry about that. But you have a TI-83 and, and an 84 ROM. And what the ROM is, is the file that the program is going to need in order to emulate that specific computer. So to get started, you're going to double click on Wabbit Emu. And this setup process is only going to be something you need to do once. Because this hasn't been configured with a particular ROM, it's looking for a ROM right now. And you want to choose Browse for a ROM image on my computer. Click Browse and navigate to your desktop. It happens to default. I don't know if this will happen on your computer. It happens to default inside of that folder that I started in. And I'm just going to go with the TI-83 because it's the calculator I like to use. You click on that. And at the bottom, you'll see that it says TI-83 ROM. And you'll click Open and then click Finish. Now, you're not quite done. There's some things that I would recommend doing here. We can turn the calculator on. One of the things you'll notice is the calculator screen is quite dark. So in order to tune down the contrast, you can click second and then the down arrow, second and then the down arrow, second and then the down arrow. Just do that until you're comfortable with the contrast that you're seeing on your computer screen. Now, it's RAM cleared right now, so you need to be aware that it's in the default mode of radians. Uh, you might want to change that, for example, to degrees. And then we can quit out of here. Now, there's a couple of other things that you need to do here. One is, it may be the case that when you're looking at your calculator, it has a window around it. So it isn't just the calculator. It's got some kind of boxy window around it. And in order to make sure that that's not there, you're going to right-click on your computer screen go down to the calculator. I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to right click on the calculator screen, go down to the calculator menu and choose options. And one of the options is this tab called skin. You're going to want to make sure that use cutout skin is selected. I'm going to unselect it, so I'll show you what it looks like if it is not using that mode. You're going to have this big clunky looking thing. So if you do have this clunky looking appearance, right click on the calculator screen choose the calculator menu and then options and go to the skin tab and choose use cutout screen. Um, you may also find that the screen texture has been checked. And when screen texture is checked, I, I'm not quite sure why, but when screen texture is checked, it's really not a good quality. So I always ensure that when I first set up one of these calculators in the Options menu under the Skin tab, Screen Texture is not checked and Cutout Skin is checked. Now there's one other thing you want to make sure is enabled. I'm going to click Apply. There's one other thing that you want to make sure is enabled and that's that on the General tab on the bottom in the general section, it says automatically save and restore state. So the reason why I have that checked is if I were to quit right now and then restart the calculator, it would come back to this same place. If I had a function in here that I wanted to use next time around, 
when I reopen the calculator, it will come back to that exact place. Now, before I actually quit and close this calculator, one other thing I would recommend doing, on the bottom you'll have this little icon. It may be a calculator or it may be a little picture of a rabbit. You want to right click on that and pin that to the taskbar. If you don't do that, then when you close your calculator, in order for you to start the calculator again, you have to go back into this folder. But if you pin WabbitEMU to the taskbar, then this is always going to be down at the bottom of your computer in Windows. So anytime I want to start it, I click that, the calculator will open it up. And again, I've set it up in save state so it opens up to where it was. You never want to get rid of this folder that you've put on your desktop. You want to keep it there at all times. So again, you double click on the WabbitEMU installation file, then you navigate to the ROM that you want. Specific settings would be going to calculator options, making sure that the cutout skin is checked, the screen texture is unchecked. You may have to use second and the up and down arrows to adjust your contrast to where you want it. And you want to, as well, under options, well, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can set it to automatically save the state that it was in. And you want to make sure that you pin that item to the taskbar. Now, if you don't like this calculator, then instead of using it, you can choose the 84 ROM. So if you right click here and choose File, you can open and then navigate to the 84 ROM and click Open and you have the TI-84, which has some advantages. Uh, I'm not going to go through the configuration of this, but if you want the TI-84, then do that as long as the calculator options are in the automatically save and restore state, then next time you open Wabbit Emu, it will open that calculator. It is possible, one other point here, I'm not sure why you would want to do this. I use it as a teacher sometimes. It is also possible to get both calculators open at the same time. When you right click on the screen and you go to File, instead of clicking, instead of clicking Open, click New. And it will duplicate that calculator. Then you can right click on it, go to File and Open, and open the 83. I, again, I'm not sure why you would want both open, but you can. I think what's going to happen when you close these is the last one that you closed will be the one that it opens. Anyway, I hope that helps. You can find the files in your shared folder. So if you need a calculator on your computer uh, that's a Texas Instrument TI-83 Plus or TI-84, then there you go. Have fun. We'll talk to you later.